Cape Town, South Africa, the 2019 Audi A7 is a stone frosty fox, plain and straightforward. From its dapper squint to its faceted tail, the new Sportback refreshes the outline-driven subject that began in 2009 with striking, new sheet metal. However, while the first A7's huge hatchback format was a novel bundling exercise matched with a to some degree traded off backseat understanding, the new model takes various mechanical jumps forward that add some much needed substance to that style. First of all, the new A7 imparts enough propelled highlights to the Techloaded A8 to make it among the most modern cars on the planet, however Audi isn't sharing those fancy odds and ends with the US advertise, more on that later. At the point when the A7 drops in the final quarter of 2018, it will be propelled with a similar Trap 3.0 TFSI V6 found in the A8, at any rate until the sportier S8 touches base with a gruntier V8. Creating 340 drive and 368 pounds to foot of torque, the section of display V6 is a mellow crossbreed that uses an incorporated starter generator on a 48 volt stage that empowers up to 12 kilowatts of vitality recovery. This powertrain is mated to a 7-speed double-grip Estronic gearbox. The supposed belt alternator generator BAS, is fit for drifting with the motor off inside certain speed ranges, however US models won't have the drifting element at dispatch. While we're blasting your air pocket, we ought to most likely likewise specify that the A7 won't be offered, at any rate at first, with the A8's mellow boggling prescient suspension framework that outputs street surfaces ahead and utilizes electromechanical dampers to raise the body and control wheel travel, guaranteeing a plush ride. Rather, the A7 will accompany a standard steel spring setup at dispatch, and a versatile air suspension will probably be offered as a choice. Slide into the new A7 and its upgraded launch displays a drastically refreshed look and feel over the active model. There are charmingly chiseled inside surfaces with accessible wood facade medications which tenderly circular segment and stream with those wrinkles, all shrewd plan includes whose exclusive conflicting components are the strangely strange, and disappointingly inauthentic, counterfeit back tailpipes that have produced all through the Audi lineup. While outside extents stay unaltered, the A7's new aluminum and steel suspension grows a large portion of an inch in wheelbase and 0.8 creeps in inside length, boosting legroom, headroom, and knee space for raised travelers. Access to those back seats now includes less head slamming, while the smooth, frameless entryway configuration has fortunately been held. Trunk volume develops to 18.9 cubic feet, or 49.1 cubic feet with the back seat, sufficiently down space to put two golf sacks sideways. Likewise with the A8, and much like its sister auto, the Porsche Panamera, physical catches and switches have been everything except annihilated for three glass board shows. Best in focus is a 10.1-inch infotainment touchscreen inclined towards the driver, one of two new MMI touch reaction screens which order almost every control in this two-ton car, spare things like the modest volume, control dial, the stocks on the directing segment, and catches and dials on the controlling wheel. Beneath it is a somewhat littler show for atmosphere control settings. Customary measures are additionally discarded for a 12.3-inch virtual cockpit prepared computerized dashboard. While the A7's flat-screen Appaloosa holds a specific interest to extraordinary minimalists, the smooth and flush instrumentation asks the inescapable inquiry, is this overcome new catch-free world extremely something worth being thankful for? On a fundamental level, the new interface is instinctive and effective. Furthermore, hell, in any event Audi left the back vents as physical controls, not at all like the disappointing Panamera which requires jumping into a menu to move the vents. In any case, the profundity of Audi's menu framework here and there makes it troublesome and disappointing to get to specific controls that were once basic. The touchscreens likewise do not have the strategic fulfillment of physical catches, also the way that more consideration and exactness is required while pointing at the tip of your finger at a little region on a screen in a moving auto. The few key settled catches, like drive mode select, traction control off, maximum defrost, and fog light controls are just spots on a hard, flush surface. Once more, the setup works, however without an indistinguishable physical consolation from a genuine catch. The apparatus selector is a spring-stacked, calfskin-wrapped shifter that offers sensibly fulfilling electromechanical association with the transmission. In any event the A7's driving progression are, generally, more physically satisfying than that recreated mechanical linkage. 
The standard driving mode creates a smooth, pleasing force conveyance and calm motor activity at bring down rates, feeling more like a Uber luxury vehicle like the S Class, 7 Series, and yes, A8, than an engaged games car. We're speculating future execution variations, apparently S7S and RS7s, will be extensively punchier. Indeed, even with the controlling set to sport, exertion is generally low, however feel is sufficient, and Michelin Pilot Sport 4 is sufficiently sticky, to empower rapid cornering. Dunk further into the throttle and the refined murmur of the V6 develops, exchanging some separation for incrementally more input. New discretionary acoustic coating goes far toward repressing surrounding clamor in the lodge, and our test auto came out fitted with air suspension that likewise figured out how to block out potholes while keeping things firm and responsive in more mode. Lodge quiet brings forth the dream that the A7 isn't as speedy as it really seems to be. Despite the fact that increasing speed appears to be solid with forceful driving, the absence of clamor covers the way that the V6 is fit for whisking the A7 to 62 mph in just 5.3 seconds, quite quick for a construct motor in light of a major car. While the US rendition of the A7 will miss a couple of the key tech includes that assistance that emerge from its focused set, among them four-wheel guiding, pression suspension, and motor drifting, its particular plan dialect offers a more relatable type of separation, particularly when seen against the constantly stayed A8. Include the volumetric interest of its electrically worked raise incubate, and the A7 figures out how to take a significant number of the crates we never knew we had. It's that kind of panache and elegance that makes the A7 our sort of huge car, one with enough style and ability to upstage its lead enormous sibling, the A8. Thank you.